I like chicken with a little bit of rice I like steak with a little bit of spice Scrambled eggs and toast in the morning But I don't know what I want tonight So let's google it, let's google it Why would you google it if you can google it? Let's google it, let's google it Why would you google it if you can google it? Not just a Wagyu A5 from Japan And not just the most expensive steak It's the rarest steak in the world So yes this piece is named under the owner of the Wagyu farm in Japan, Mr. Ozaki, and this one, Ozaki Wagyu, which is the most expensive and the rarest steak in the world. And on top of that, it came with the certificate. So you can see the certificate here, signed by Mr. Ozaki. And let's cook it was lucky enough to receive the rarest and the most expensive beef straight from Japan of course with Luke's help from the Finch market now let's begin before you begin you have to be relaxed because you can't mess with this piece of beef you have to treat it with the respect so sip of coffee before we start and I'm gonna start with the fresh garlic and we're gonna slice them very thin the garlic thinly sliced and supposed to be super crispy it's pretty much like garlic chips so very important to use for the steak and for the garlic stainless steel frying pan with a thick bottom so they can control the heat now stove on a medium low preheat the frying pan first I'm gonna put a tiny bit of vegetable oil probably like one teaspoon sliced garlic in and as soon as it give you color from one side we're gonna flip them to the other side and when you see them brown both sides they're ready to go perfect they all here toasted garlic and turn off and now when it comes to seasoning that was my pick from the Finch market it goes so well with the steak so I picked peppercorn garlic dusted and here the maple smoke flake sea salt this is gonna be so amazing always follow one quarter of the amount whole peppercorn and three quarter of the amount of the salt flake and that's how they look like and nothing better than fresh grind perfect that's what we need nice they even smell good now stove on a medium low we're gonna preheat the pan first now for the steak when you see this ridiculous marbling the amount of marbling in it the fat don't be afraid of it this is a good fat to eat it's unsaturated fat plus very low in cholesterol fats the opposite from the regular steak fat now we're ready to rock and roll with the salt and pepper we just grind roughly about one minute then you flip and look at this beautiful golden crust again salt and pepper I'm sure Mr. Ozaki he'll be so proud to see how I'm handling his steak move it to the side or flip it to the side I'm gonna slice it in half because this one's going to be two serving oh my god Look at the inside. Now I'm gonna continue cooking this side for about 40 seconds and ready to be served. Perfect. 40 seconds more than enough. Now I'm gonna let it rest here and I'm gonna show you how to make the dipping. And for the dipping I'm using here tamari sauce. It's similar to soy sauce but it's less salt and uh, more flavor plus it's a gluten-free just in case 
So I'm gonna start with the tamari sauce in a small bowl. Don't need much, probably like three teaspoon, uh, sorry, three tablespoon. Now I have here wasabi. You take a big chunk, put it in, and keep mixing until all the wasabi completely dissolve. Oh my God, it's so good. Now it's time to slice the steak. You have to cook it medium rare to medium because you want the fat in the middle to cook a little bit and release the flavor. And that's a $10 each bite right here. Now, let me show you the proper way to eat the rarest and the most expensive steak in the world. You take one slice of beef and you take a little bit of wasabi, you put it in the middle, then a couple of pieces of this garlic chips, you take the steak, dip it in the special sauce, your jaw doesn't even have to work, your jaw will take a break, it just melts in your mouth like a block of butter. So the rarest and the most expensive steak in the world. Today I show you how to cook it, how to serve it, and to make the special dip for it. And now all yours to enjoy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take care.